What's up guys, my name is IceKey77, welcome back to River of the Dynasty. Sorry, last video kind of got chopped off at the end, I kind of edited like 50 parts of it out. Lucky me, I'm just not stupid, so it's not like the video just was like over. The video just got cut in half, this is the second half of the video. This is me speaking in real life, yes. This is not gamer me speaking. Here it comes. Here he goes. Oh, yeah, we lost last game. That sucks, doesn't it? It sucks a lot, but, like, it's whatever. So, yeah. Let's go. So, in the championship, Alabama beat West Virginia, and we got two recruits. Great job for us. Let's look at the job offers. We got Michigan State, Fayetteville Bears, and boom. Nah, we're good. It's advanced to the offseason. Here we go. Players leaving. <laughs> Wait. Um. Thank you. Uh, no. Thank you. Uh, no. No, you're not. Thank you. Um. Um. No. Thank you. Here we go. Here we go. The <gasps> Miles Hanley. You need to get some montage on this dude. 4,000 yards. Yeah, he averaged this season 7 yards a carry. 46 was his longest yards. 34 touchdowns. This guy was... We're going to miss him. Lil Gruda, you suck. I don't care about you. Maco Rodriguez, I'm, I'm really proud of you. This year, your whole career was this season. And you showed up to plays. You got two picks, and four picks and a fourth fumble. Sean Howard gonna miss you. Blair Collins gonna miss you. Sean Smith, we're gonna miss you. Even though you didn't win much, we're gonna miss you through for 3,000 yards, 10,000 yards. We're gonna miss you. Uh, we're gonna miss you. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you especially. Cause like I worked my tail off just to get you, <laughs> and you were just beasting the whole season. <laughs> F in the chat for these guys. What's up with these season progressions, though? Because, like, a real gamble. Oh, my God. Jalen Hurts went up already, too, overall. He's already getting better. He's already showing his strength with 93 speed. Jasmine's went up. Demonic Felton went up. Oh, my gosh. Emmanuel Marshall went up to Rico Sharp went up to. We might put him in the lineup next year. It's great catching. Mark Mark Payne didn't have good catching, but he still caught a lot of passes. Let our team receive. There we go. Offensive defensive lineman doing do good this year. Marcus Boner Boomer. It's Marcus Boomer. And then we got coach changes, which I mean, does who really reads this? No one. New York gave him an extension? Are you stupid? Well, yeah, they're just retarded. Welcome to the team, DJ Brock. Thank you. Let's view these transfers. And whoa, a great offensive Oh, from Summit, how cute is that? He has A minus potential. Oh, yes. yes this if you didn't. If you. If you just live under a rock and you didn't see what happened, we want like, a major win streak. First by beating North Texas, then beat, beat Campbell, beat New York, lots of Virginia, beat UMass, beat Northwestern, beat New Mexico, beat Wake Forest, beat Albuquerque, beat Akron, beat New Mexico, which we actually started. Shit. Oh, I know that. Well, we started Jalen Hurts that game. We beat Phoenix. We lost in the championship by. One freaking point, and we just lost to Virginia. 
Position changes. The second plus player of the year. Second best, second best, second best, second best, second best, second best, second best. best. Alright, we got our 95 overall punter. <laughs> I mean, we should I really get put change your boy to running back? Nah, it's time for Demonic Felton and Jay Osmus. Yeah, 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 that's definitely. They both went up an overall. Oh my, that's actually good. If Demonic Felton puts in the work, he might be starting. But I feel like Osmus with the um C minus is gonna give him more of that boost. Mark Payton. I mean, this year Ben Burley. Ooh, the freshman's going up there. Rico Sharp, who's a fresh redshirted freshman. Got B plus it's progression, yeah. C Mark Payton. I I see we're gonna have some pretty good tight tight ends. We're gonna have our senior, but Arian Flower, who was our um four star recruit, is gonna be I don't think he's gonna be playing this year. But he will be raising some eyebrows after next after next season. Lineman, and when I say we're not gonna be bad, we actually got a free stat. Hoffman coming in for his senior year. That's actually really great. Jared J Jordan Joyd. It's gonna be our great defensive tackle, defensive lineman, unless. Carter Howell catches him, or Cameron. If um Carter Howell, I will keep Carter Howell just in case, like when these guys gets hurt. Linebacker, uh, I mean, we redshirted you, you not you. Um, we redshirted you. You better have done something. So it's gonna be like Ross, K Jarrett King, and Caleb Pickens for the looks of it. Wait, where's my boy at? Yeah, there is Stratton. He didn't. He's not even that good. That like the, the three star I recruited is better than you. The, oh, what am I doing? I forgot. I forgot. Just, I mean, if I put you at receiver, seventy five. You're going receiver now. Receiver. No, you're just gonna stay at running back for the rest of your life, aren't you? Linebackers, yes. Keep stratting. It's gonna be half the strats this year, right? Corners, Charles Ward, the 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 the, 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 the um the freshman who got 12 tackles last year. I don't think he got a pick. Yeah, he didn't get a pick this year. This year he might blow. Trey Hess and Austin Jor. Oof. Did you get any better? You were redshirted. You got a B, but bro, I might like you. Trey Nimbu coming for his junior year. Unless, unless Jermaine Greer has something to say about it with his D potential. <laughs> and they got a punter, which is going to be um Maxine Marsh this year. It's not bad. Oliver Jordan, not bad either. Uh, well, you'll be a good offensive lineman, actually. Uh, 64, it's not, that's not that good. And you're a senior, yeah, you're gonna just be good. And you got Elijah Martinez. So that's a good roster. For you guys that don't know, What's about to happen next? You might want to cover your ears. Like, I mean. <gasps> training results, training results, training results, training results, training results. The best time of the year. <laughs> training results, the best time of the off season where we see everyone gets better. I mean, year six. And this dynasty is looking. Oh, Jalen Hurts. It's already a 780 overall. Jalen, I like, I like it. I like it, man. 91 break tackle, 90 speeds. Oh, my God. Jay Osmond went up three. 
and so is Demonic Felton. They're they're both trying to fight for this spot, but I don't know who to give it to. Like, I get it, Jay Osmond has the um, better hands, but Demonic Felton has the speed, and Andrew Perez, you just give up. You're not getting it. So it's gonna be Demonic. It's to this plan. Jay also gonna have it for next year and this season and next year, and then after that for Demonic Felton's junior and senior year, he'll be the starter unless we shift to one better. Javante Gregory with with that boost, getting some great attributes. Mike Ben doing something as well. He went up four seventy five overall. Emmanuel Marshall. Hopefully you you gotta do something this year, man. Mark Payton going up those three overalls. He has now officially seventy one catching. Rico Rico Sharp went up three overalls. And then our senior Chaz Hill. Uh, yeah, he didn't do much. In off season. He didn't do much in off season, like a lot of my other people did. Side in, me Wimpley, the freshman Cameron Haynes. Why well, I think I yeah I registered it because he was like our three star who wasn't gonna do much. It's now gonna be second, and it will be starting next year. Let's. Alex Wiley has something to say about it. Owen oh, Stefan hasn't did anything. Yeah, he has 99 catch. Huh. So 88 offensive linemen, 80, and Hoffman, you're, you're just reaching 80. You have people that are already better than you, man. I mean, we okay. This guy's actually balanced. He's 88 rim block and 88 pass block. Harry Norwood is gonna be a senior. And Jalen Watkins pretty good. I mean, we got some pretty balanced people. Maybe we can pass the ball. Oh, we have Jalen Hurts. Fitzwater's ninety. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I think I think the I think um Jared Judge should still start. I don't know. Linebacker Jordan Artikar Artilleria. Uh, Joe Ross went up three, Jared King went up three, and Caleb Pickens went up three. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Corners, Austin George. Pretty good. Charles Warren. Oh, my God. 87. The freshman now has 90 coverage with 60 catching. It's Charles Warren, 47. Trey has went up as well. That's he's pretty much that's pretty much all the starters. Oh, Nimble, you're just your spot it could have gotten taken. Jamal Gary or almost tried to take it from you. But you're just lucky you made it. Wait, D lineman. I just remember I redshirted people. How'd they do? Yeah, here he is. He went up three. I forgot but you didn't do go up much, but you're still you're still doing something, man. 97 overall punter. It's not the same with a 99 overall punter, man. And kicker Elijah Williams did good, so. The, all the eyes are going to be on this guy right here. Jalen Hurts. He has three more seasons to get better, but 77 throw power, 77 accuracy, with speed. He's going to be a... Here we go again, bruh. Can this year, can we finally get over the hump? This year we play Boston College. Play South Bend. They yeah, always play, um, how about, <laughs> how about no? We play Knoxville. Number six, my Amy. The final game of the year should be a pretty simple one. Is our FCS team? We play Charlotte. Nah, I won't play Florida State. I don't feel like they're gonna be the good to where they think they're just gonna come in home and just be us. So, um, red shirt players. I don't think I really want to red shirt anyone this year besides so yeah, Laundry Taylor, obviously. Danny Lance Lanson, you're gonna need to be red shirted. So I really want to register one of these guys, maybe keep them for one more year. 
Oh, Rico Sharp, you like barely didn't make the cut, man. Sucks to suck, don't it? Mike Ben, Ben Burley, you don't remember sure you, just so you don't like. And Mike Ben, just so y'all don't, just go away from us on an early age. Like, I want to keep them. Tight end, I don't see why we haven't did this yet, but. A tight end with 99 catching is not even on here. <laughs> 97 catching, though, that's good. Cameron Hines and Arian Fowler just came in and just whooped the tight end. Here's my offensive line starting. We can actually maybe pass and run the ball this year. I mean, I don't know. I want to do a wishbone offense this year. Cause I feel like we're going to be able to pass the ball, but we're not going to be able to pass it like we can. Because you got to remember, Jalen Hurts isn't accurate yet. He's a four-star. <laughs> the lineman, yeah. Jordan Judd, I feel like we should rest him just for this year. I don't think we're going to need him. I'm going to just stop the video. Yeah, I'm going to redshirt him just so next year he can be a beast stud with Josh Fishwater being in his senior year. John Ron, I mean, this linebacker core isn't good, but his show can get better. We'll put these guys on redshirt just so they can get better. Austin George came over. Okay, cool. I clicked the same thing. Oof, I thought we should rush rush you just so you can get better. <laughs> Sam West over. Sharp here. I feel like you're going to be a beast next year. You might want to research you. Punter. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. That year for Elijah has really helped him become the guy he is today. Yeah, I'll see you in the season. Nothing interesting this part. I'm just I'm just gonna show y'all recruiting because I want y'all to see some recruits. We're two and four. We can just filter it between people that are recruited and bam. Oh, I didn't know you. I didn't know you. I didn't see you on here, bud. Oh yes. No, I see New Mexico State because they always give us. They're not that good. Give me my first. Do you like academics, my man? Oh, there you go. He likes academics. Cool. Oh, I, I guess he like auto put some people on here because I know I need people. Jerry, come on. Yes. Sixty-seven that doesn't do much. Dang it! And I'm almost out of minutes. <laughs> no way. What? How do you like coaching prestige? I mean, I can see why. If I want to go to the NFL, I would want to, like know that this coach has done something in his career. But like, really, fam? Yeet. Yeah. No, I'll play, let's play with some and ye. And there we go. Let's check out our actual procedures this year. I just noticed we're not. We're, I want our procedure C minus now. Nope, it's still a D. Dang it. Could someone in our DC this year be better between. Can it not be between us and Eastern Michigan this year? Yeah, please. Let that be a scene. Go first game against Boston College. They haven't played either. Like, tells us a weekly game plan. I have it for three and wishbone just because. Whatever. Let's just. Oh yeah, thirteen point though. How did my boy Jalen Hurts do? You know he did. He didn't do two. He did pretty spicy. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, Jay Osmond is like already trying to beast his way into the start. Like, Harris has seven attempts for eleven yards. Keep that going. We might have something. I mean, receiving. Oh my God, Emmanuel Marshall and Demonic Felton whooped. Oh my God, I uh, blocking. 
They have one guy. Harry Norwood got seven pancakes. Nice job. Defense, I don't see interception, sadly. Did we get one? We did, we won. Caleb Pickens, our linebacker. Yes, sack. We got three. Akeem Haynes and Josh Fitzwater. Perfect. And no injury. Well, that's going to be the end of this video. Ending the streak of Jalen Hurts. This is going to be the Jalen Hurts Empire.